Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, page 101 in your book, the end of the book, my friends. Okay, now I say, and you respond, do you eat rice and beans? Are you eating them right now? Will you eat them tomorrow? Did you eat them yesterday? Very good, my friends. Okay, now I say, and you listen. Hi, I am from New York, but I now live in Miami. I have lived here for two months now. Miami is better because it's hotter than New York. Also, the beaches here are more beautiful. Yes, New York is bigger and more interesting, but life in Miami is funner than in New York. Now, question number one, where is she from? She is from New York. Question number two, where does she live now? She lives in Miami now. Good. Now, question number three, which city is hotter? Miami is hotter. Question number four, which city is bigger? New York is bigger. Question number five, which city is funner? Miami is funner. And question number six, which city is more interesting? New York is more interesting. Very good. Now in the text, she says, I have lived. What is this, I have lived in Portuguese? I have lived, eu tenho vivido, or eu tenho morado. All right. Now, what can you see here? Give me 10 things. You have 10 seconds. You can see the sky, you can see clouds, you can see the sun, you can see buildings, you can see windows, you can, so, you can see people, you can see trees, you can see chairs, you can see tables, you can see a head, you can see glasses, you can see a pencil, you can see arms, you can see a body, you can see legs, you can see t-shirts, you can see hats, you can see pants, you can see many things, my friends. All right, now grammar. Yes, I love grammar. I love English. You love English. He, she, it loves English. Yes, grammar. We love grammar. All right, now the grammar for today. Reference nouns, specifically reference pronouns. Now, we, they include it, them, one, ones, then, and there. And we use them to prevent repetition. Now, for example, I bought a guitar, but I don't know how to play it. Now here, we can say the guitar, that's okay to say the guitar, but it's repetition, so we can use it. I don't know how to play it. Now, Maria liked the shoes, but she didn't buy them. Now we can say the shoes, but it's repetitive, so we can say them to break the repetition, to stop the repetition. Now, we use it for things that are singular and them for things that are plural. All right, now, I love the red jersey. The Sixers won. Yes, 76ers, my team, Philadelphia 76ers. Now, for singular objects, we can use one. And for plural objects, we can use ones. For example, I love the Nike shoes, the blue and red ones. Yes, these ones are cool. I like these. All right, now again, one singular, one's plural. Now, we'll go to the party at seven, see you there. Now we can say see you at the party, but it's repetitive. So we can say see you there. There we can use for locations. There in Portuguese, it's like la. And Becky's birthday is on Friday. I need to buy a present before then. Now we can say Friday, but it's repetitive. So we can use it then. Now then means uh, naquele momento, naquele dia, na, naquele tempo. Now then is the pronoun for, for moments. Now there, remember, is for location. And then is for moments. All right, now, invitations, these are invitations. What are invitations in Portuguese? Invitations are convites. All right, now, there are formal invitations and informal invitations. Now, remember, formal invitations are would you like to and the verb. Informal invitations are do you want to and the verb. Now, would you like to and the verb in Portuguese, você gostaria. 
And do you want to in Portuguese? Você quer. All right, now an excuse. For example, the teacher says, where's your homework? And the student says, my dog ate it. Look, the dog has the homework. Now, this is an excuse. An excuse in Portuguese is a desculpa. All right, now, this is an example of an informal invitation. She says, hey, do you want to go to the beach? She says, sure, você quer go to the beach? And this is an example of a formal invitation. Would you like to go to the cinema tonight? She says, yes, I'd love to. I'd love to in Portuguese, eu amaria. And here is an example of a formal invitation and an excuse. Here he says, would you like to go out tonight? She says, I'd love to, but I have to work. I have to work is an excuse. I have to work in Portuguese, ten ok, trabalhar. All right, now some vocabulary for today. We have done. Done means finish or completed. Do, did, done. Fazer, fez, feito. For example, he has done his homework already. Ele já tem feito his homework. Glad, glad is a synonym with happy or satisfied. For example, they're glad, they're happy about their grades. Glad, happy. And anyway, in Portuguese you say qualquer manera. For example, I'll learn Spanish any way I can. It's true, I love Spanish. Okay, that's it my friends. Bye-bye, have a good day. Hello my friends, good morning, good afternoon. And